Hello, everyone. Elizabeth, Aymara, Daniel, Magdiel, Vidal, and Mario, thank you for being on time. Okay, Aymara, I see that you will be only listening today. All right, thank you so much, Aymara, for informing about your issues. And the rest of you, how's it going? How's your day? Hello, teacher. Hello, my dear. Good evening. Are you still right? No, I am at home. How long did the commute to home take? Excuse me? How long did you take to get home today um, from work? One hour ago. One hour? Oh, my God. Yeah. That's crazy. Uh, I hope that one day uh, maybe the government does something about the traffic because it, it, it's, it's too much. It's, um, it's unbelievable. Today I took two hours and a half to get my kids home. <laughs> yes. Last night the traffic was, was terrible. Yeah, today is the same. Every day is the same. And <laughs> the traffic in Jerusalem was complicated and now yeah. it's even more complicated with that traffic light that they yeah, installed. But, it. Yeah, but today it, it, it's it's better. You think so? Mm. Okay. I so. <laughs> well, maybe it helped a little. But I think it doesn't. <laughs> well, anyways, thank you so much. Because of, uh -huh. because of today is is every many people has has have a payment. Ah, today is payday. Yes, yeah. it's true. Yes. Okay. Um. Well, <laughs> <laughs> at least it's a, a reason to be happy. To get paid today for many people it was a nice day today well okay thank you so much for being on time everybody we're going to start today's class i sent the presentation again so that you have handy and let's continue uh today we're going to finish hopefully if rain, weather, internet permits, we're going to finish today uh, section number one. So um, this is the exercise where we stopped yesterday. We couldn't complete this one. So we have some words here that can make compound nouns. And then, so we have in letter A, we have air, Business, commuter, parking, police, public, rush. And then under column B, we have district, garage, hour, lines, officers, pollution, and transportation. The first one, it's already done for us, is air pollution. What do you think that can um, match business? What do you think? Officers. Mm, business officers? Mm. I don't think so because we have also police. Mm. Our. Mm, that could be a good match, yes, business hour, but um, mm, to make more sense, maybe it would be in plural, business hours. But yes, it could be, but not in this case. So it is maybe not... Rush Business and sorry, I I heard two at the same time. <laughs> sorry, uh, maybe business district. 
business district. Yes, that is. Number two would be business district. You can take notes because we are going to use that vocabulary later. So it's business district. Take notes. Business district. And oh, let me uh let me put a check on it. So business district. Okay. Commuter. Commuter. Commuter offices. Um uh, it, it is officers. So um no, I don't think so. Do you commuter lines? Excellent commuter lines. Lines. Yeah. Commuter lines would be like uh, líneas de pasajeros, right? Líneas o carriles de pasajeros. Commuter lines. Okay. Uh parking. Garage. Parking. Excellent. Parking garage. Mm -hmm. Police. Officer. Officers. Excellent. Police officers. Public. Transportation. Excellent. Public transportation. And the last is rush hour. Hour. Nowadays, uh -huh. sorry, what does it mean rush hour? La rush hour sería lo que en español decimos como hora pico. Okay. Uh, now it's hora pico 24 7. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Good day. When, yes. Every day. Every day. <laughs> <laughs> every hour is rush hour. Okay. Um, did you take note of the compound nouns? Let's review. Um, so we said air pollution. Number two, it is business district. Number three, commuter lines. Number four, parking garages. Number five, police officer. Number six, public transportation. And number seven, rush hours. Now, using those compound nouns, you are going to, let me clear all the drawings. Okay, using those, <laughs> again, clearing, okay. Using those compound nouns, we're going to complete this exercise. Uh, we're going to complete the online post using the compound nouns that we already complete, that we, we already match. City form. As you can see, we're going to make use of the compound nouns here. Life in the city needs to be improved. Totally agree. For one thing, there are too many cars and there is too much bad air, especially during rush hour. Okay, there is the first compound noun that's been used is rush hour. Then you continue completing the paragraph or the, with the, um, the online post using the compound nouns that we already match. I'll give you time and let me know when you are ready to check your answers.
finished it. Okay, so we read the first part, but it says life in the city needs to be improved. For one thing, there are too many cars and there is too much truck, much bad air, especially during rush hour. Who wants to continue? I volunteer to continue. The transportation is terrible. Mm. Yeah, air pollution. Air pollution, yes, air pollution. The air pollution is terrible. Thank you so much. Volunteer to continue. The air pollution is terrible. Volunteer con to continue. Problem is particularly bad downtown and the business district. Uh-huh, continue. That is correct, business district. This problem is particularly bad downtown in the business district. Too many people drive their cars to work. I volunteer to continue. I think police officer. Police, police officer. Sorry. Police officer. I think. I think there should be more police officer at busy interceptions. They could. They could stop traffic jumps. Excellent. Thank you so much, Magdalene and Maria. That's correct. Police officers. I think there should be more police officers at busy intersections. They could stop traffic jumps. Uh, volunteer to continue. We also need fever public transportation downtown. Mm. And we also need fewer parking garages. Parking garage. Uh huh. That's it. We also need fewer parking garages downtown. The city spends too much money building them. It's so uh, easy to park that too many people try to work. Very good. Uh, volunteer to continue. However. The city doesn't spend enough money on public transportation. Yes. Excellent, public transportation. However, the city doesn't spend enough money on public transportation. Mm -hmm. I volunteer to continue. There. We are missing only one. Are enough 
computer lines to the support. Excellent. There aren't enough computer lines to the suburb. Commuter lines, sir. Okay. Thank you so much. And you can see the complete um, post. Do you have any question? Okay, using last, this, the yes. Last one feature, the last uh, word, suburbs or suburbs? Suburbs. Suburbs, okay. Mm -hmm. Is there any other question? Okay, so here we have a good sample of a paragraph. This is like an online post, but yes, it's a paragraph. The next exercise is to write, it's a two paragraph about a problem in a city, you know, describe the problem and suggest solutions. As you can see here, in the exercise that we just did, uh, we have the problem and the solution. And we are also using the uh, quantifiers, like too many, you can see here, too many cars, too much bad air, etc. Remember the, let me stop sharing here. I'll continue sharing from the presentation. Before we use, you can uh, check here if you have any doubts, if, the, if, if you can use too many and you are using a non-count noun. So you can see here that too many is for count noun and you can check here, okay? Just um, depending on what you want to express, the quantifier, and you can check here if it goes with a countable or non-countable noun. Remember that it's to identify the uh, countable noun, it's um, the key to know if a noun is countable is um, check if they have a plural in English. If they have a plural form, it's countable. If it doesn't have a plural, so it is non-countable now. Uh, so the exercise here, let's see. We're going to write only one paragraph about a problem in the city. It can be here in our city or another city that, that you know. It can be um, about uh, pollution, uh, crime, okay? And uh, it is not necessarily a really big paragraph. It can be just a, a short one. And remember to mention also the solutions as we have here in this example. Any question? No questions? I'll give you time for you to write the paragraph and then let me know when you're ready to share your paragraph.
Are you done? Yes. Volunteer to share? Uh, yes, I, I did it. The problem in the city is there are too many cars and that cars create a two air pollution. The people don't like walk. They prefer drive their cars to work. The solution for this is have a good public transportation when the people can go easy to their works. That's all. Excellent. Yes, too many old cars polluting and also a bad public transportation system is, is not helping us. Thank, thank you so much for sharing, Daniel. Excellent job. Um, anybody else, another volunteer to share? Me, teacher. Thank you so much, Magia. <clears throat> the city needs any chance to look better. Good adult, the public transportation needs new equipment because there is too much bad air. Do all buses. buses. Many people go to the go to the park to rest, but the air air pollution affects their health. I think should be less all buses and get new equipment. Also, the public transportation could be outside of the downtown. So the park of the city could be less pollution. Excellent. Oh. Very good that you took into account that uh, all buses are making air pollution getting worse. And also on top of that, it's um, affecting people's health. Excellent job, Magdal. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you, teacher. Any other volunteer? No more volunteer? Okay. Thank you so much, Magdal and Daniel, for sharing your paragraph. We're going to uh, check attendance. So let's get ready and say present as soon as you hear your name. Abigail Elizabeth Flores Hernández. Pues, mi teacher. Abigail. Alex Enrique Lemos Guzmán. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Alex. Carlos Emilio Coto Dueñas. Present teacher. Thank you, Carlos. Cecia Noemí Ramos Rivas. Cecia Noemí Ramos Rivas. Elizabeth Stephanie Vázquez Ramírez. Present teacher. Thank you, Elizabeth. Emerson Alexander López López. Present teacher. Thank you, Emerson. Francisco Ernesto Acuña Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you, Francisco. Gertrudis Aymara Baquerano Mejía. I think that she's having issues with the internet. She reported that. So we can continue with uh, Guadalupe Alexandra Calixto Martinez. Present. Thank you. Hazel Vanessa Mengiva Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you, Hazel. Jose Enrique Pineda Tova. Present teacher. Thank you. Julissa Yamilet Villalta Villalta. I think that she reported that she was getting off the bus and getting home. Um, so we can continue with Carla Ivania Anaya Ancheta. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Javier Castillo. 
Present me. Thank you, Luis. Martiel Esaú García Morales. Present teacher. Thank you, Martiel. Manuel Alexander Vázquez Rafael Ano. Present teacher. Thank you, Manuel. Marilyn Alejandra Grande Pérez. Present. Thank you, Marilyn. Let's continue with Mario Ernesto Ramirez Lopez. Present. Thank you. Melanie Alexandra Martinez Santos. Víctor Noé Ponilla Portillo. Present, present teacher. Thank you, Victor. Vidal Byron Ruiz Ortiz. Present teacher. Thank you so much. William Alexander Rosales Ayala. Present teacher. Thank you, William. Right, we will continue then. Okay, I'll continue sharing the screen. And we have a couple of activities here to see how much do you remember about the uses of the quantifiers. So this is a drag and drop exercise. You see we have a couple of quantifiers here. We have aren't enough, too much, more, isn't enough, fewer. And the instructions are drag and drop adverbs of quantity. Choose the correct word to complete the paragraph and there is one extra answer. If you see here, we have four spaces and five answers, meaning that there is one extra that is not going to be used. Let's uh, read this short paragraph. And um, when you're ready, you can raise your hand if you volunteer to complete this exercise. Volunteer to get the remote control. Me teacher. Thank you, Miguel. Give me one second. Okay, there you go. Mm -hmm. The it's last, uh-huh, it's because parking is in singular. Mm. 
Parking is in singular, so isn't. Oh, you can change it. Uh huh. Click on the incorrect answer. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Now you can check. Isn't enough parking? Uh -huh. Very good. Right. Very good. Thank you so much. I volunteer to try the next one. Volunteer. Emerson. Okay, I'll give you the remote control, Emerson. Just give me one second. Okay, there you go. Check answer. Yes, you can click check answer to check your work. Hmm. Mm. Not enough. There you go. Pretty good. Thank you so much, Emerson. Now let's Is there a question about about it. Um, why oh. why can be fewer? I think fewer and not, uh, not enough is basically the same and no. Okay, let me see if we can. Uh -huh. Can or where can I get to the previous one? Uh, I think this is the one that Miguel did. Okay, let's do this one again. So, do you remember the city has? It has uh too much traffic. Too much traffic. We need more public more transportation. More public transportation. Uh huh. <clears throat> and fewer cars. Fewer cars. And there also isn't enough parking. And isn't enough parking. Okay. And then we could go next. And then here, that is? There is um, more pollution. Um, but I, I think this is, another. this is another, right? Yeah. OK, let's do this one together. What do you think?
is too much. Too much pollution mm -hmm. in our town. There should be less cars on the road. Less cars? On the road. Okay, here's the thing. So you see less cars. Uh, less cars. Uh, can you see here? Yeah. Less lo utilizamos para no contables. Okay. Less es para no contables. Cars es contable. Cars es un contable y por eso tendríamos que utilizar, podría mm -hmm. ser en este caso, fewer. Si es como un quantifier para decir algo, una cantidad pequeña o menos, tendría que ser fewer porque cars es contable. ¿Ya? No podemos usar less porque less es para incontables. Entonces, there should be fewer. fewer. Uh -huh. Fewer cars on the road. And there should be more bicycles. More bicycles, uh-huh. But there? But there are not bicycle lanes. There aren't enough bicycle lanes. Uh -huh. In, uh, creo que era similar eh, el ejercicio. Eh, tenemos que ver si el noun es contable o incontable para saber cuál de los quantifiers vamos a usar, porque de eso depende. Y esta creo que era la, la en donde estaba la pregunta, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Y sucede lo mismo. Subway cars es... Los, ajá, subway cars es, ajá, es contable, subway cars, entonces siendo contable, podríamos utilizar fewer, uh -huh. si fuera el caso para eh, eh, fewer, Entonces, hagamos juntos este ejercicio. We need a better subway system. There are... Too many old subway cars and... And fewer new subway cars. And fewer new subway cars. There should be more. more subway routes. Also, subway fares are too high. Too high. Mm -hmm. Oh, perdón. <laughs> Entonces es por, mm -hmm. aquí está fewer. Pero en este caso, como por coherencia, tiene que ser que no hay suficientes. No hay suficientes nuevos. Uh -huh. Es por cuestión de coherencia, porque el fewer sí se puede usar ahí, pero por coherencia no es el apropiado. Porque dice que necesitamos un sistema de subway mejor. Hay demasiados subway viejos y no hay suficientes nuevos. No hay suficientes nuevos. Podría ser que hay pocos nuevos, pero en este caso, como por coherencia, cabe mejor poner que no hay suficientes eh, carros de subway nuevos. Así que es por coherencia. Uh -huh. Que tendría que ser not enough. 
Okay. Now, let's continue. Okay, and here, choose the right word, adverse of quantity. Click on the correct words. Okay. There, are, so for example, number one, it says there are too many or much street lights on Second Avenue. You should take the highway instead. So for street lights, can we, is it countable or uncountable? Street lights. Countable. Is countable. So are we going to use many or much? Many. Many is for countable. Okay, so we click many. Uh, volunteer for number two. Let's do two and three. Volunteer. More. Okay, let's click more. We should have more cash machines downtown, then it would be much easier to get cash. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see number three, a volunteer. Too much. Okay, Mario says too much. Let's click much. There is too much noise in the library. I can't read my book here. Good. Now number four, there should be traffic after rush hour is over. Less teacher. Less. Less traffic. Uh-huh. Traffic is non contact Yes. Uh-huh. There should be fewer or less tourists in the museum. Fewer. Fewer, because tourists as is countable. Mm -hmm. It's too crowded. Number six. There isn't or aren't enough parking spaces. Uh, aren't. Uh -huh, because it's plural. Parking spaces. Uh, si fuera singular, utilizaríamos isn't, but for plural, aren't, because it's spaces. So yes, I think that the answer is correct. So number seven, this street is dangerous at night. There aren't much or enough police officers stationed here. Enough. Enough, teacher. Okay. Excellent. You did an excellent job with this one. So let's see if we have any other exercise. Okay, it's, yeah, I only have two exercises related to the adverse quantity. That is the topic that we've been studying. And you did it great. Good. Now let's continue here with the presentation now that we played in the arcade next exercise building vocabulary that is um with this with the previous exercise we wrap up the topic about the um adverse of quantity i know that this is a matter of being practicing and practicing a lot we're going to continue, and if you want for us to continue with this topic and practicing, feel free to let me know, and I will prepare extra exercises related to that topic. Now, 
Continuing with the material, we have this vocabulary exercise on page 15 of the INSAFOR material. We are almost uh, finishing the section number one. It says there are five causes that generate the decline of a product. Match the causes below to the corresponding definition and compare the answers. Okay, so we have obsolescence, demand downturn, changes in customer preference, and global competition. Okay, you can try it and do this exercise. You can do it in the either on the PDF or you can do it in your notebook. Let me know when you're ready. Okay, I see here that Mario has finished. The same. You have the same, Daniel? Yes. No, I, I um, have different. Okay, for you to different. Okay, what I have here is changes in customer preferences. That would be the number three in the first parenthesis, the presence of innovative product or services. Uh-huh, sounds like, yes, it has sense. And then one would be obsolescence. Uh, Innovative shipping is available. Yes, yeah, sounds good. Work global competition. International competing companies may offer better prices. Mm. Changes in customer preference. Mm. Mm -hmm. Sounds like three is the last one. You have the same answers with Mario, says Guadalupe. Okay. And the rest of you?
Okay, let's check and make sure. I think this is in the platform as well. Mm -hmm. I think it's not here. Okay. Yeah, I only have Mario and Guadalupe. They share the same answer. Daniel, you have them different. What do you have, Daniel? Um, let me see the window. Oh. Okay, I'm me. gonna start sharing again. Okay, here it is. A uh, obsolescence is a significant significant decline in the competitiveness or value of a product, usually because a more innovate or cheaper. It's available. Okay, that for you. You have the number one here. Obsolescence. Uh huh. Uh, demand turn down. Uh, is for a reduction of customer interest in buying a product. Demand downturn, uh-huh, too. Change in the customer uh, is the present of innovate product or service cause customers to change their taste and preference. Mm -hmm. And the last one. Uh, four to three. Global competition, international comparing companies may offer better products at cheaper price. Yes. Okay, Daniel. Yes, your answers are correct, and uh, you were really, really close. Uh, Mario and Guadalupe. Yes, so some terms are quite similar, and they may cause. Uh, confusion. So, but yes, these are the correct answers. Okay. And then for the building vocabulary, we have the following strat our strategies to handle the decline step of, of a product. And well, lower prices, repackaging, discontinuation, innovation, and co branding. Those are terms that, according to uh, this material, that it's inviting us to uh, go online and find information about each of those terms. But well, I think it's um, probably going to be necessary, but later, not now. We don't have time to go online now. So, um, and. Let's read this paragraph. There is an exercise about this paragraph and we will need time to do this in group. So we're going to read. I need a volunteer to start reading until you find a period and then someone else can continue. Volunteer to start. Medication. Thank you, Manuel. Okay, um, 12 years and 20 device letter the generation defining iPod range looks like it's about to fade into history without so much as a whimper. I think all of us have no for some time that I bought is a declining business, say Apple boss Tim Cook in 2014, discussing the company's latest earnings report. He announced massive profits as ever, but noted the iPod sales had dipped. 
52% down, down on this time in 2013, with future drops expect, expected. Expected. Okay, thank you so much. I want you to continue reading. The iPod. I did it. Okay, thank the you. IPod, the iPod has been nervously looking over its shoulder for some time. When the iPhone was launched in uh, 2007, Steve Jobs joke that is that it, it was the best iPod we never made. And he was right. With its apps and other smartness, the iPhone meant there was not longer any need to own an iPod as a separate device. So long as you could afford it, uh, Apple wasn't afraid to create a product that would be scrubbed and successful, successful, exciting business. Apple thought, if we don't do not something, someone else will. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you so much, Daniel. I volunteer to finish the last part. Me, teacher. Thank you, Elizabeth. Okay. And even today, despite? Despite, yes. Okay. Despite that dramatic 5,200 fall, the iPod range still generates big revenues, 900 73 millions, but 973 millions out of Apple's total revenues is just a minor sideline. Or as technology news site, the uh, Birch. Birch, the Birch put it a hobby which leads 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 with which leads. Most people in the know to predict that why Apple may not discontinue the iPod in the very near future. We are unlikely to see any kind of significant update of the devices. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for reading, Elizabeth. The first picture. It's just here. Just one, Mrs. Broward, minor, minor, and the rest. Excellent. Thank you so much for participating, everybody. Uh, that's quite interesting, right? So for a business to ba basically um, cause the decline of the, the iPhone, right? But yes, they, they thought it, that if they didn't do it, someone else would do it. So that's quite interesting. Now about this article, it says identify the strategies that Apple has applied to deal with the imminent decline of the iPod. Choose a national product or service in his decline stage. Discuss possible strategies that the manufacturing this or distributing company could apply and what advantages would those strategies bring to the company? And we'll do this in group. You can uh, prepare a presentation following this step, and you can take this um, as go online and in, in group. So we're going to work in group, and you can go online and find about the strategies that we have here. And then you can go ahead and prepare your presentation for exercise number 10. This is on page 16 of your PDF. I'm going to be checking in the groups in case that you need some help. You can do the presentation in a Word document uh, so as we don't have too much time left. So, or you can just write down your notes and share with the class.
Let me create the breakup room. Hello, teacher. I'm downloading the presentation. Ah, okay. So, can we start with the dynamic? Yes, I think that you can start remember that this exercise is also in the PDF. It's on page 16, if I'm not mistaken. Let me share with you. Okay, here it is. Uh -huh. It's on page 16. And uh, as, okay. you, uh -huh, as you can see, um, according to this paragraph, um, Apple was um the paragraph is about the decline of the uh, apple's ipod and uh, nowadays i think that no one uses an ipod right <laughs> yes no one <laughs> they they the their strategy was like a um um 
uh, it was a kind of a merge, right? With the iPhone, right? The new iPhone now that yes, I think Spotify so. or something yes. like that. To yes, listen I think to because it. Spotify uh replace the iPod on iPhones. Mm -hmm. So now, uh, and, and they did it because they said, if we don't do it, someone else will. And then um, yeah, it, it was a nice idea, right? Yes. Now, do you need uh, about any other product or service that is in the decline stage? Mm -hmm. It I was in decline state the blackberry the blackberry okay but nowadays maybe the internet services probably because yes. It, yes i think that movistar i think that few people has movistar internet i guess claro like uh, tigo but there is a um a Please. new internet, well, right? Actually. Starlink, or uh, what is the name of that? Yes, Starlink. Starlink. So mm -hmm. yes, I and it's very appealing. So what can internet companies such as Tigo or Claro, what could they do to deal with that? Because I think that they are in the client stage. <laughs> yes. Mm. So that is the exercise about oh, okay. you have to choose a national product or service in the decline stage. It can be okay. a service or a product. You can also think on a product and then discuss possible strategies that the manufacturing or distribution company could apply. The strategies are, for example, these ones, lower prices, um, in some cases, if it is a product, maybe repackaging or discontinue the product innovation or co-branding. Mm -hmm. Discuss okay. of uh, possible strategies and what advantages would those strategies bring to the company? In the case of the ad point, the advantage is that they, um, they maybe increase the sales of the iPhone. And yes, and, and nobody in the of the competitors uh, took that space in the market. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. So something similar. You as a group, you can think about a product or service that is nowadays in the decline stage, and uh, continue then with the with the next step. Choose the product, discuss the strategies, and mention the advantages. You can work your ideas in your notebook since, since we don't have like so much time left. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. Okay. So do you have an idea about a product or a service? Do you want to talk about? Yeah, for example, in the case of the Motorola, the old um, mobile to the Motorola is the discontinuum. Uh, in the in in the case of the innovation Motorola now, um, is a uh, is a uh, it have a new smartphone. Is a case innovation for Motorola. Okay. Let me see. Okay, so we're gonna choose Motorola Mobile. And yeah. Let's talk about the possible strategies that the manufacturing or distributing company could apply. What do you think? Um, I think that um, I think that in the lower lower price, and you can combine maybe innovation with lower price. Yeah, innovation and lower price in the market. 
Yeah. Okay. For example, Nokia is discontinuation. Nokia is in the decline state or it is discontinued? Are completely I think discontinued? It's discontinued. I, I, I believe that in the I believe only a a model. So they just have one model available or one model has been discontinued? Mm, I believe that any model, no more. Okay, so they have just one model available or they disappear from the market? Uh, for for example, in the case of the smartphone, Nokia um, 3.0, 3 I, I, I believe that. Okay. I don't know if exists a new iPhone, new iPhone, new phone, sorry, of Nokia. I believe that only the old ones is still working. Okay, the next one is what advan advan sorry how to pronounce that word? What advantages just like G advantages advantages will those strategies bring to the company? Okay. No, no. What advantages will innovation and the lower prices will bring to the company? Maybe if Motorola um make a uh, innovation of their uh, cell phones, maybe people will be interested in to buy to buy them. And also yeah. if they change the prices to a lower prices. Yes, I believe that. I guess we have already. I guess I we have already answered our <laughs> question. Yes, we have all the uh, response. Only the first one. Yes, only two um questions. Well, only uh -huh, only two points we need to discuss. Okay, so you choose a product or a service that is in the decline stage. Yes, we select uh, the hamburgers. Uh, from biggest oh biggest yes I think that there is just one or one branch or well I, I just know about one the one that is in the Texaco uh, near St. Helena <laughs> do you know of any of them yeah I know that they have a local in the highway to La Libertad, uh -huh. uh, but I don't remember in what kilometer, <laughs> but uh, another in Aguilares, yeah, that is the oldest. Okay, okay, that is very good. I, I really love that those hamburgers, they are delicious, and I would, for them, I would like for them to to get back in the market like as strong as they were before. So what are the strategies that you think that they could apply? They made me work in marketing uh, 
in marketing, in influence marketing, and they make maybe improve the the product with the tastes. They um, need to innovate for for the public, uh, to young public. Innovation, okay, yes, absolutely. Innovation, only one strategy. Innovation. It could involve the innovation the, to uh huh. The biggest can work in 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 rebranding, uh, for have a reborn the mar the 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 brand. Mm -hmm. uh, the rebranding, uh, try consigo. I don't remind how to say. Get to the company maybe. Uh, get no. a repackaging and have a, a new image for the the brand uh, uh -huh. can work for for have a, a good product because the product now is very older so uh all -huh. uh, to works to innovating and and repackaging design and and, and others can work for for have a, a good product now I think that not is for the price because the price in another uh, companies is high uh, and in the biggest not is too high, I think. Oh, that is my impressive. So I think uh, one Baconator maybe uh, cost $6 and maybe one biggest cost three or four dollars maybe i don't know but the taste expensive uh, <laughs> yes i, I don't I, know I, how, I went how much. uh like uh two months ago um uh, i was driving and I, and i i, I saw that one and i was hungry and i haven't cooked for the for my family so i said i'm going to take some hamburgers so i stopped there and bought just the hamburgers. I said, I don't want the fries, no French fries, no sodas, only the four hamburgers. And uh, I spent $20 just for four hamburgers. In the biggest? Yes. No fries, no sodas, only the hamburgers. How many $20. burgers? So I, I, huh? How many burgers? Four burgers. Uh, but that is for two... 2.50 maybe mm, uh, yeah, yes two and a half <laughs> two and a half yes two and uh -huh. a half. so yes uh, maybe uh, they can uh, make some more appealing uh, combos probably they can help maybe it's not necessary to lower the prices because I know it can be like the prices are similar as Wendy's as Burger King as McDonald's but the taste, I, I really love those burgers. Mm -hmm. I prefer biggest rather than McDonald's or other kind of hamburgers. Mm -hmm. So I think that, yes, you have a very, very good idea. And thank you for bringing that. So I'm going to um, call everybody to the main section. Are you ready to share your ideas with the whole class? Are you still uh, taking notes of your brainstorming? No, we're ready. Are you ready? Okay. Oh, well, uh, what's going on?
Okay. Uh, almost everybody's back. Yeah. Now everybody's back again. So we're going to share our ideas. Only two out of three rooms worked in the presentation. So we're room number one. Alex, Daniel, Emerson, Guadalupe, Jose, Marilyn, and Vidal. Can you share with us what the product that you discuss about and the strategies that they would apply and also the advantages that it could be? Anybody from the group? Uh, we work in, in the product about biggest hamburgers, biggest, biggest. That uh, we proposal to have a uh, new rebranding for a brand and have innovating in the combos uh, for did it more attractive for the younger customers. We think the the price not is a problem and maybe can did it a uh, combos for for works more for the customers but the branding the rebranding will help to 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 do a, a, a good product that will can a uh, good for the customers maybe so uh, we conclude the strategies we can do is first one the the good the, the a new design for the brand in the brand and the we can support with the uh, with the influence marketing that will help to pro to propagate uh all the new change in the in the brand all right excellent thank you so much it did a complete um you complete all these steps and good job and now i'm hungry i need a hamburger now <laughs> thank you so much for sharing and then number room number three there was carla aymara carlos uh, hazel magdiel william and Elizabeth. Any volunteer from the group? Me, teacher. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. Okay, so we choose to talk about Motorola. Uh, we think Motorola could make innovation and also change the prices and if they do that um, maybe people be more interested to buy them because we think it's a good brand and it's a good cell phone um, if they change the prices people possibly will be more interested and buy them and that's it and then we talk about more uh, products and services, but the first one, it was Motorola. <laughs> yes, excellent. Motorola was a really good uh, device. It's a cell phone, it's a good brand, and it's a shame that they uh, disappear from the market in the field of yes. uh, communication. So, and, and yes, if you discuss about any other product, that's fine. Excellent. The idea of the of this is for you to practice your speaking, for you to increase vocabulary, and that's the that's it about. So thank you so much, everybody, for sharing for your participation. And now it is time to sleep. I hope that you have a good rest today, and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you. Okay, have a good see night. See you, teacher. Thanks. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.